Hello, how's everybody doing tonight? It's Matt with another fine beer review for you good folks on YouTube. Now tonight's uh, beer this evening is going to be another edition of the Stone Brewery. And it's going to be very basic stone, like most stones are. This is going to be the Stone Pale Ale. Now, I believe this is the fifth stone beer that I've done. And I believe I still have one more stone ale that I still need to do. It is the uh, barley uh, wine style beer. But it's a little late and I don't, really don't feel like getting that uh, much beer in me. Because it's a big bottle. It's over. It's about 26 ounces. So I really don't have the urge to drink that much beer at this late of an evening. So, with no further ado, let's get the bottle opened. Uh, this is a cool looking bottle cap. I collect bottle caps and this is probably one of the better stone bottle caps that they have. Now on the back, let's see if they have anything, words of wisdom for us. Uh, not really anything that uh, particular. Once again, the uh, word on the back is gargoyle, which I've already read um, before in another edition. So blah blah blah. No, there is, really isn't anything on the back. I mean, I, I do like reading what's on the back of the stone bottles because they're usually very interesting and it tells you a lot about the beer. So now I'm going to be drinking out of a new glass. This is a holy macro glass I just picked up the other day. I was uh, so I'm down here in South Florida um, in like the Fort Lauderdale area. There was a big beer festival, I guess you could say, or a big beer tasting place in downtown Fort Lauderdale this past weekend. It was sponsored by New Times and one of the local radio stations down here. And it was a good time. Uh, you know, they gave out plenty of a uh, coasters and stuff of that nature. I only got three, so I got like Moosehead and Magnus Cider and then this one. I had never heard of this uh, beer before. It is a uh, uh, Narragansett. I've never never heard of it before. And it was actually a pretty tasty beer. Plus they give out CDs and crap like this and they give out free cigars to people for you, um, free blacks and free blunts and stuff like that. So it was pretty much like a smoke fest and a, uh, not the smoke fest you're thinking of, but a, a lot of cigar type of activity, plus they were giving out liquor at certain stations, and uh, whew, that was a sneeze. And of course, plenty of beer. And it was like 20 bucks, but it was well worth it. I had a great time with some good people. So, it's uh, poor. And I hope this isn't sacrilegious and I'm pouring the stone into the holy mackerel. And it's funny, because like, I'm pouring this in, and this beer actually has a very distinct look like it kind of looks like holy mackerel in the uh, in the bottle it's got a nice kind of bronzy amber ambery looking color to it it's it's fil it's fil filtered very well so it doesn't really have any sediment in it I wasn't really expecting that in a, in a pale oil anyway so without further ado let's get drinking now not definitely not as bitter as a IPA. The pale ale is a lot smoother, a little sweeter. I like pale ales better than an IPA. So, this is very delicious. And I've got comments on these videos, and one thing anybody who watches my videos we can agree on is that stone is very basic, but what they don't, what they make up for in ba basicness and not uh, like all the bells and whistles and fruit flavors and things like that. It's just a very, like, they brew it excellent, and they brew it to what a beer should be. And once again, the, on the back, the ingredients are nothing but barley, hops, water, and yeast. As basic as, basic as it gets. And this is 5.4% alcohol by volume. So, just a great beer. I, I love it. I think it's great tasting. It's a delicious beer. And, as I so often do, in all these late... Um, let's drink additions is that there's that much beer and we're gonna drink the rest like I do so well in all these other ones so bottoms up if you're having a beer of your own ta-da another beer down the pipe as you can see, I'm, oh, there's a little cut. 
Can't let a great beer go to waste. <laughs> so, that's it. There's nothing really else left to say about Stone. I got one more coming up. I believe I'm going to be uh, a little bit of a hiatus after this video because next week I will be headed out to Las Vegas for the NAB show, which is the uh, National Association of Broadcasters. It is a convention out in Vegas, and I will be attending with my school. And hopefully I'll have some videos for you guys back uh, for the show and everything like that to let you guys know how it is. If anything, I'll have, definitely have some videos from Vegas that I'll be posting. Maybe do a little drink montage of uh, me getting uh, wasted in Vegas. But we'll see. I'll, I'll cook something interesting up for the people that do actually watch the videos and enjoy watching these from me. So that's about it. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for watching once again. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you, everybody had a good weekend. And I'll catch everybody on the flip side. Take it easy.